Pythagoras and the Ratios by Julie Ellis and illustrated by Phyllis, a math adventure. Long ago in ancient Greece, there lived a curious boy named Pythagoras. He liked finding out how things worked, which sometimes caused him to forget to finish his chores. One day, Pythagoras had just finished proving that rocks cannot float when he heard a deep and horrible howling sound. Susan's beard, he yelled. What is that? He followed the sound to the top of a hill overlooking the harbor. Octavius, said Pythagoras to his cousin, were you making that awful sound? Unfortunately, yes, Octavius said nodding. I made this new pipes for the music contest. They sound so bad that my parents sent me out to practice. If I can't figure out what's wrong, I won't be able to compete in the contest. Let me try, Pythagoras suggested. He played the same awful sound. By Apollo's hammer, that is terrible. Well, Octavius said, at least it isn't me. It's definitely the pipes. Hmm, I wonder how they are different from mine. Pythagoras and Octavius. Pythagoras said to Octavius, I'll get my pipes and a measuring cord. Can you get a stylus and a clay tablet? Pythagoras measured the length and width of each pipe. Octavius used the stylus to scratch the measurements into the clay tablet. Look at how the length of the shortest of the pipes compared to the longest, Pythagoras said. Octavius, write the length of each of the pipes above the length of the shortest. Octavius wrote 24 over 12, then 20 over 12, and so on, to compare the five other pipes to the shortest one. We can simplify these numbers, Pythagoras said. If we divide both the top and the bottom number by the greatest common factor, for 24 over 12, I can divide both by 12. For each pair, Pythagoras figured out the biggest number that could go into the top and the bottom number. I wonder if the relationship among my pipes is what makes them sound good together. Pythagoras compared the two sets of pipes. Each of your pipe is twice, exactly twice as wide as mine, he said, but they are more than twice as long. If the relationship that we discovered works for my pipes, maybe it will work for yours too. We can't change the width of your pipes, but we can change the length. Let's cut your pipes so that each one is exactly twice as long as mine. Cut them? Octavius cried. What if they sound worse? Believe me, Pythagoras said, nothing could sound worse. Pythagoras cut Octavius' pipes, then Octavius played them. Now your pipes sound like mine, Pythagoras said. Only yours still sound deep while mine sounds lighter. I bet that's because your pipes are wider. I wonder what would happen if we played at the same time. No one plays pipes together, answered Octavius. It sounds horrible, Pythagoras shrugged. It couldn't be worse than how you sounded earlier, Octavius agreed. Do you know Ori to Apollo? Pythagoras nodded and they began to play. The sounds were in tune. It worked, Pythagoras said exi excitedly. The lengths of the pipes control how high and low the sound is. Here comes Amara and Reina, Octavius said. Let's hear what they think. That sounded excellent. But we've come to warn you, Pythagoras, you're in trouble, his cousin Amara said. 
What have I done now? Pythagoras asked. Nothing, Reina said. That's the trouble. You were supposed to help your father gather olives today. Oh no, I forgot all about it, Pythagoras cried, and he ran towards the olive grove.